Hey, hi guys, this is Bakapa Chincholikar. In this tutorial, I will talk about how to set desired capabilities in APM for mobile testing. Before moving on to this tutorial, I will briefly give you an idea about what are the different tutorials we have covered till now for the mobile testing. In the first tutorial, I have talked about what are the different softwares required and how to install them. In the second tutorial, I have spoken about how to create a Android emulator. Then in the third tutorial, I have discussed about how to read a app, app activity and the app package. In the last tutorial, I have spoken about what is UI Automator Weaver and how to use that to inspect the mobile element. So in this tutorial, I'll talk about what are the different properties are required and how to set them by using the desired capabilities in APM for mobile testing. So let us jump to the one of the program I have created. So first you need to start with the creating the object of the desired capabilities by using the new new operator then next by using the object of this particular caps you need to set the capability so these are the different properties that is required for mobile testing the very first property is device name you can specify this thing you can specify any any name there the second property is udid so you need to specify this property from the adb devices if you go to the command prompt so just type cmd and go to the command prompt so here just you enter the adb devices then here you will get the list of devices in my case only one emulator is connected so it is displayed here so you need to copy this particular name and you need to specify it for the udid so in my case i have specified the that particular emulator id the third property is platform name you can specify it as a android the next property we have is platform version so you can just open your android emulator or the real device so in my case i'm using the emulator so in this device go to the settings so here i'm clicking on the settings then go down and here you can see the one option called system so you, cl you can click on that particular option then in this particular system page so you can select the last option that is about emulator device then if you in this particular screen so if you look at the fourth option that is android version so here in my case it is 8.0.0 so same value is specified here then the next two properties we have is app package and the app activity so only one method you need to call that is set prop set capability for everything for setting all the different properties here so till this you got you got an idea like how to set the values for the like device name udid platform name and the platform version now for the next two properties that is app package and the app activity so these are the different values like app package and the second property value we are having is app activity so if you go to the my channel so here i have covered separately that tutorial like how to get the app package and the app activity so that would be quite enough to execute your script in a real device or the emulated device so that's all about the tutorial in this tutorial just i have given a brief idea about uh, 
how to set the properties i mean desired properties desired capabilities in apm for the mobile testing so in the next tutorial i will talk about how to automate the android native applications thank you thank you very much for watching this tutorial if you like this tutorial click on like button and share with your friends and colleagues